hello there everyone welcome back to this channel i am so excited you decided to stop by so you want that look i'm gonna show you how to get it keep watching this is my process for braiding my own box braids i decided to try something new with doing these box braids i'm using this particular brand of hair i've never used it before so hopefully it works out for me <laughs> okay so let's get it popping basically i have already started and so now i just need to finish the crown the top and the front and aside products that i'm using to moisturize my hair are products that i haven't used before this is shea butter in addition to using this shea butter, I'm also going to use the Eco Style Jamaican Castor Gel. I've never used these two products together to do braids, so I'm going to hope for the best. Okay, so next step, I am preparing the braiding hair. So to do that, I pull out some hair from the bundle, like so. Once I've done that, I kind of run my fingers throughout the hair because I want to feather the ends. And really, you guys can't really tell, but I'm actually stretching the hair apart from one another because I want to have uneven ends. Okay, so after I've done that, I pull another bundle of hair from the entire bundle. So as you guys can see, I have one small bundle and one bigger bundle. And then what I do is formulate a cross, if you will, or a hook. So now it appears I have three bundles of hair. Before installment of the hair, Basically, I'm going to part my own hair and moisturize the hair that I'm going to install the braiding hair into. Quick length check for you guys. Look how long my bang has grown. So I'm going in with the moisturizer first, which is the shea butter. And then I'm going to go in with the gel. And now we're going to prepare to install the hair. So let's get it. Okay, so this is the part that I told you guys about in a previous video. Like, I do not know how to wrap the hair around my fingers like the experts do. So I just do what works for me. And this definitely works. It's not too tight to my scalp, but it is installed tightly enough where the hair will not unravel and will not slide and so basically i'm just going to braid until i cannot braid anymore all the way to the end of the hair far enough where the ends are still loose another quick length check for you guys I am just so amazed at how much hair growth um, I've forgotten anyway one more time I want to show you how I install the hair and braid 
so i have applied my shea butter i've applied the gel already it's time to install this braiding here I tried to get as up close as I possibly could you guys I hope you can see how I am doing this if you need me to do this again um, let me know and I will because I really want you guys to see how I install the hair and how I braid it I hope this I, I'm really hoping that this video is definitely helpful for you Now, if by chance my hair starts to feel a little dry, I just apply more of the product and continue braiding. Let me tell you, braiding the back of your hair to install it one can be a little bit tricky and a little bit difficult, but it is possible and can be done. And whenever you do long braids, it's very easy for the um, braiding hair to become tangled or knotted. But as you braid, you kind of have to just um, unravel the knots and just keep it moving. Okay, you guys, this is my process and this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I love you, smooches.